Hello, in this screencast we're going to take a look at the situation where you have many different files and they're all kind of messed up. You can see that the formatting here is wrong and the formatting here is kind of wrong. You can see that this header isn't lined up with its closing header element and in the go file there's also some weird formatting here and we'll add some more to really drive the point home. We can see that in all these different files we have problems with formatting. Now what we can do per file is we can right click and choose format. Or as you can see we can press Alt Shift F. So right now I'm pressing Alt Shift F in this file and you can see everything is now neatly lined up again. However doing this in all these different files seems like a waste of time doesn't it? So um, what you can do is you can select a particular project and then everything within that project will be formatted when you choose source and format or when you click Alt Shift F on the project. Now let's see where this particular file was found. We have two projects open. If I press Control Shift 1, I can see that the cursor jumps in the projects window to this index.html file. So right now we actually only have one file within this project, um, oh, aside from these of course. So here's the grunt file. So let's um, add some spacing in there and mess that up a bit. We'll mess, mess this one up a bit. Okay, so now either we can press Alt Shift F or we can simply go to the source menu and then choose the format menu item. And you can see recursively format the selected files and folders. We click OK and then everything within that node, so that's the index.html file, you can see it's all neat again, and the grunt file, and everything else has now been formatted. Um, on the other hand, what is in the other project has not been formatted. So um, let's throw some spacing into here. We'll mess up this one and we'll mess up this one a bit again. And then we'll say here, um, Alt Shift F, I'm pressing this right now. Recursively format, yes. So here we can see that the formatting has been done while in the other case the formatting has not been done. So depending on where you put your selection, so where you click with your mouse. So if I click here with my mouse and I choose source and format or press Alt Shift F then everything within that will be formatted. Or if I put my cursor on one of the folders or depending on where you put it. Now a follow-up question is what if you are not using projects? Instead of projects, you just have loose separate files that you're working with in NetBeans. Now, NetBeans has a very nice solution for this called the Favorites window. Window and Favorites, Control 3. So here we open that window, and now we can right click and say Add to Favorites. We can now browse to a folder that contains the files that we're working with. So I have here a folder, my PHP files, and in here there are three files. So I'm just going to close all the other documents, all of them just to avoid confusion. Now here I have three documents. Here's one and here's the second one. These are all PHP. You can see here this echo statement here is all misaligned so it's not formatted correctly. And here the volume is not formatted correctly and in the last one you can see it again the echo. So we'll select just these two files because let's imagine for some reason we don't want to reformat the second one, but just the first one and the third one. So we select those two files. We go to the source menu and choose format, or again, we can simply press Alt Shift F. So I'm going to do that. I'll select this one and that one. Um, so with the control, holding on the control key and then clicking, and then Alt Shift F and recursively format. Sure, go ahead. Now you can see that DEF, nothing has changed. GHI, here everything is fine, it's been correctly formatted, and the same is true for this file. This file. We can see here that ABC PHP has been formatted, um, and so let's make a small change again, and we can actually see it happening, Alt Shift F, 
Yes, go ahead and you can see in this way just select the folders and the files that you want to have formatted and everything within the currently selected folder whether there are separate files within a folder or whether they are projects everything within the selected folder or in NetBeans terminology within the selected node will be formatted. That's it, a very small and powerful tip for formatting across multiple projects and files in NetBeans.